Greetings. Oh, come back to another episode. We are again somewhere in the desert. This time it's the real desert and not just some um, steps kind of desert. Nope. Uh, it's the real one. And we're going to do the this quest over here, Treasures of Ahan. First, we're going to read what this Traveler's Beware thingy is all about. Faraya Tehi, this unfortunate soul who wanders bloated with rot on the western road to Alcanus, seems to pulsate and throb even more than other wretched undead creatures. Do not endanger your soul by daring to go too near this accursed thing. Okay. Meaning that um, go close to it and loot the shit out of it. Alright. Now, let's see. We got Jilan. Please help an injured man repay a debt. Bandits mugged me, crushed my knee. I would have died if the Iron Wolves hadn't stepped in. The one named Asifa carried me here. She gave me my life. I want to give her this amulet in return. Ah, a paltry repayment, but it's all I have. She'll be back at their camp, west of Chaldeum. All right. Wow. Um, hmm. So this whole Trace of Iron thing is the quest that gets you very, 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 very far away. That's just great. Uh, looks like we're going on a little discovery journey this time. Only two cult- okay. Uh, the thing is we just basically just follow the road there. Uh, that might be the best bet here. Uh, alright. So, let's see where we will end up at. Oh, look at this. Similar to the snow area. Oh, the dunes are actually quite nice. It's just pure emptiness out here. That's really, really wild. I like the fact that it's actually three-dimensional and it's not just like a brown, orangey like, kind of desert. It's actually something that's oh, much nicer than that. All right. But we still have a wee bit of a problem. Finishing all of that. I'm definitely not going into Alcanos this time. But did I finish up? No, I don't know. Maybe I already finished Alcanos? Nah. Something is weird with Alcanos. Don't know why. Strange amount. Or maybe I don't know what's in there because I haven't checked that one out yet. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, wait a minute, is this the way? I... While we're at it... Let's just go a little bit further south, huh? I mean, there's no reason for us not to explore the surroundings a little bit more. And get ourselves this thing here. Alright, another little statue with more ovals. Oh yeah. And we got them in the forlorn badlands, all the way in the west. Okay. So now, question. Uh, if I were to go towards that, I could basically uh, try to go through. No, wait a minute. I can't really go through Caldeo. There are no roads there. I have to go to the north, other uh, or through the dwarf. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right. Trust the pathfinding system. Uh, is, that is our best way. Uh, but why must it be the quest that leads you all the way to another area? Actually, it's not their fault. Uh, it is kind of ours because, uh, yeah, we, 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 uh, we just follow that. Oh, wait a minute. Is, is, is that the thing? Road to Alcanus. Yeah, no, no, that must be her. Faraya Tehi. Huh? Look at that. Conveniently, we found her. Sweetie. All right, now what kind of items do we get from her? Some demon hearts, uh, and that's basically it. Great. And just a random kind of armor rack though, but meh. More armor rackies. Hmm, strange, 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 strange. Remember to spend your skill points when you level up and every time you unlock certain things. Like the rewards for exploration, for example. Ooh. 
Okay, there's another one down there. And kind of got it. Sweetie. And out there we go. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hmm. Environment that we are in right now seems to be a bit weird, uh, in the sense that there's no other waypoint around. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something missing. You really do need a horse in the desert, otherwise you're gonna go crazy. Alright. Down here, there's basically nothing to find, but while I'm at it, let's just, uh... Explore that a bit more proper. Okay. Nothing here that we can gather. Oh. Except for an interesting chest. Ah, come on. There was an item there. Whatever. You have to actually have a completely different mindset if you play a game like this here. You have to not think about completion and things being scarce or whatever. You have to turn your view completely upside down, right? Because you're getting littered with items, and every single one of them might be better, right? Or might give you the upper hand and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. There's also a dungeon right around the corner. I mean, we could just... We could just do this one while we're at it. That would be kind of wasteful to not do that, right? There you go. Ah, friggin' body. What's that? Ooh. A cosmetic for a horse. Interesting. So, we get ourselves, uh, like, horse equipment, but we are unable to use a horse. Well, that's just great. Okay, let's focus on finishing that little mission. Good old traces for iron. Gotta be kidding me. The only thing that I could definitely uh, do right now is just the little cellars. They can be done fairly quickly, so that's not that big of an issue there. And we should be fairly close. Ah, in the encampment, come on. And further. The other way would be to just completely ignore the quest entirely, right? Every quest that leads you to a completely different location, we can just postpone and uh, continue the later point. But somehow I'm like, okay, I started it. I'm gonna end that, right? Kind of like this. I could also just abandon the quest and have the same... Uh, have it much, 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 much easier. But no, 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 no. Our brain is somewhat in the way there because uh, it just works differently. So, let's see. How much further do we need to go then? Uh, yeah, okay. We are still on the rightmost part of it. Ah, Scorching Dunes. And won't take much longer. We're almost there. You should actually get some kind of achievement. Like, if you explore everything in the game without using a horde. That should be an achievement right there. Uh, uh, wait a minute. We can actually try to go over here. And get ourselves another little statue while we're at it. That's the whole reason why we are going to do the exploration. Come on, let me pass through here, please. There you go. And another one with willpower in Scorching Dune. Right here, pretty much. I mean, it's definitely not consistent enough. Uh, we're just gonna get those. The way we feel it. I want. And the way it's closest. Feels more natural this way. So, let's see, where are we? Uh, somewhere over here? But there's definitely more. Ooh. 
all of those skeletons. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's just let the cellar be cellar. And yeah, I have to go further to the south. Ooh, what are you? Challenging shrine. Yeah, why not? It's actually the perfect opportunity fighting all of those enemies, right? Perfect opportunity Ooh. to also just activate the, uh, the potion that increases your thorn damage. That would be amazing. And there's another one with obols right over here. Okay, so you got one here, one there. In the tar pits, by the way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But we're getting closer, 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 closer. Come on. Almost there. Any second now. Any second. Alright. And there we have more people. Hmm. Let's see. There are some rings and amulets. Uh, we can just sell these. Yeah, none of them are any better. Another beware thing. Uh, nine eyes. The colossal scorpion, nine eyes, has been spotted along the western edge of the scorched gulch. She's deadly enough on her own, but her numerous poisonous children burrow under the sands and will emerge to protect their mother if threatened. Ah, Seria. Uh, why aren't the Iron Wolves protecting Chaldea? The wolves have lived in the shade of Chaldeum, protecting Kajistan from all that threaten her. Yet, even they can only do so much. Hmm. And is there a safe path anywhere? The path south has become overrun. Everywhere is dangerous now. Hmm. How did the Iron Wolves come to settle in a place this beautiful? Yes, the oasis is beautiful. But more than that, it felt safe. That's why we stayed. Mm hmm. Because there's just stuff in abundance. Alrighty. Uh, so is the whole thing like the settlement or. Ah, looks like I it. I came here looking for help and found a tree. Yet we are together. So would you truly want to wake? Nay, my love. Though I fear the day we will. Aww. A wasp ball. A small child's toy made from a grown man's nightmare. <laughs> Kick it. But kick it hard enough so it flies far away, so you don't get stung by the bees. Or the wasps, in this case. Ah, if we go all the way further to the south, where do we end up at? That is O. Bloated body. This forgotten corpse serves as a reminder that even though it is a beacon of life in a harsh isle, in a harsh land, death still surrounds the oasis. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, and another one on a horse. I found a body in the water the other day. It was so big, bloated like a ball. <laughs> well, at least someone has fun eh? with so much death around. Uh, think about the children. <laughs> yes, I do think about the children. <laughs> and they will like it. Find uh, Asiaf. Okay, find Asiaf. They will be found somewhere down there, but I just have to check out everyone. So, what do we got in this so, one? So, Kelim takes this wasp head and shoves it on his head. Blood and pus running down his face. He starts buzzing like a madman. Son of a bitch was chasing me with that stinger. <laughs> Sagar, you was trying not to bloody well puke while you ran away. Left the trail behind you. How big are these wasps? I mean, we have fought some of those stinging creatures, don't we? Uh, nothing here. Quick, 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 quick. But this is uh, not the largest city, right? Yeah, there's just small stuff that you can get down here. I checked everywhere, sir. They would is not in camp. That boy's got more sand and sense. Hmm. Our scouts are occupied in the north and the west. 
If a threat appears in the south, we've no one left to confront it. Hmm. What about this one? The plans are brilliant, yet desperate. The armies of despair fill the small map of Kyrgyzstan. What do you mean they attacked again? I just cleared that field. I'm paying you to keep them out. Not sit here and eat while they swarm over and over. Yeah, yeah, I'll head over there again. Just let me finish my meal first. What's his name? Yeah, no, this is not Azyaf. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, Mason, please. Your wounds are still fresh. You can bind them again when I return. Asa, but not Azyaf. Good. Akarat be with you. Thank you. You may need it. We do what we can for them. But the evil that infests that temple is not easily cured. Hmm. Oh. The sign points the way to the healer. All sick and lame are welcome. And uh, we have that sign again. Saria. Oh. Okay. So somewhere around here. There must be this Ozyaf kind of fella. Fella. After the battle, Fragom the Forged sat in the shade of that palm there by the stream to wash blood from his face. After seeing himself in the clear water, he knew he'd never leave. Yeah, so clear water. Ah, uh, let's just stay here. Great, 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 great. So there's nothing up there. Huh? Can't even really. Ah, with this one, armor dedicated to those who came before and those yet to come. Nice. And. Uh... Nothing there. Pull with your shoulder, not your wrist. Wasps take us all, will you never learn? Interesting idea. It's kind of strange, but uh, yeah, you you should not bend your your wrist like that. Hmm. But what about the rest of the all? Hmm, kill it. Welcome to the safest place anywhere in the shadow of Chaldea. Asmodan himself would step lightly in the home of the Iron Wolves. Oh, really? I don't think that he can step lightly, but Asmodan is a very, very large fellow. So, let's see. Where does this camp stop? Before the wall. Okay, very interesting. And there we have Asiaf. Perfect. Nothing else to interact with, though. Strange, strange, strange. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Multiple quests. But we are going to do the Traces of Iron. A man in Tarzarak wanted you to have this. Jilal. He looked too poor to pay. Yes, I was wrong. Not a bad piece, either. Dirty, but no fake. Thanks, Wanderer. You're welcome. Okay, and that quest basically brought us from one waypoint location, or quest location, to the next. Nothing bad about it. It is just kind of weird. And let's just empty our inventory, and uh, then we're going all the way back uh, to the scoring sands. Because this is where it's at. Hmm, okay, I just have 19 ovals, not enough. Not even enough for a ring, though. Like, ugh. I also have to do something, uh... Where is that? There. I also have to do something, uh, with the... Uh, with the legendary items in my inventory. Like, usually I just take them apart or whatever. And I just kind of forgot to do that. <laughs> uh, because that merchant was not available in the PvP environment, I think. Uh, we can't see that, though. Can we? No. So, and there is another one. Payment past due. That is definitely something for the next episode. Uh, but we are going to position ourselves perfectly. Oh, yes. La, 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 
so many nice goods, but we only use gears of war. Hmm. Okay, now we end the episode, and Nagid will be there to greet us in the next one. Until then, like and subscribe, and uh, folk be with you. Ta ta.